When I walked into the room today, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna, this is gonna be great. And then I hear David and I'm like, I have done nothing in my life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's Sunday and we're going to speak at Tarek El Musa's event. Let's see what Jamil's up to. Hello, yo. Working on four hours of sleep right now and I gotta go give the speech of my life. You know what I mean? I think it's gonna be great. <laughs> and if it's not, Tarek will give you your money back. <laughs> Sorry, Tarek. What do you think, Tucker? So I woke up all grouchy because this dog decided to make a ruckus at five in the morning. And uh, I don't know, we went to bed at f one. So, so I've been grouchy since I woke up and uh, trying to like fix it, you know, because I don't want to be grouchy. Gotta go do shit today. So I'm like on YouTube, I'm like, make me happy now. What, make me happy instantly, which um, don't really type that into anything because like it'll just be, all kinds of craziness, but I did find this one uh, interesting talk. And this guy said, why don't you think about what your future self 20 years from now would be looking back at you in this exact moment and thinking, how happy would that guy be to be back in that moment for a, in a minute, just, you know, to still have this dog, to still have that dog, to still be in, in this relationships with these people in these, this life, who knows who would have passed away and who would, you know, how many people would have gone and like, all the things that would have been different, yeah. right? So, so it's a lot. It's a lot of perspective. Um, That's really good. Yeah, I like that. So, like, you got to dissociate yourself for a moment and just like think about it. Like, man. So, actually, I'm gonna weave that into my talk today because nice. I think a lot of people they get hard on themselves because of like where they are right now. They don't realize that like your future self has so much compassion for yourself right now yeah. because it understands where you are. One of the things I have learned is on four continents and say that alone, forget about the fun and the other stuff. I'm just like, <laughs> can I borrow a couple of those brain cells? He looks like a rock star at Nobu last night, so. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, don't know, I don't know what it's called, but they have this thing where you just say, bring me food, and then people just start bringing plates of delicious food. And so I got really full really fast before all the really good food got there. So rookie move, you don't do that. You gotta pace yourself. And so Pace ate all the really delicious stuff at the end when I got too full. It was strategic planning, I think. I learned that his wife doesn't like anything but fish. No sushi. Exclusively fish. Wait, what was it? Or you can have fish. You hate fish, but you like shrimp. My, my daughter calls shrimps lobster boys. Lobster boys? <laughs> One, two, three, boom. When I walked into the room today, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna, this is gonna be great. And then I hear David and I'm like, I have done nothing in my life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so one of the questions they asked us yesterday is like, what would a breakthrough be for yeah. you? So it'd be like you just had your moment. Well, I did because you always wanna see like, what does it look like on the on that next level? What is that plateau or what is that? You know, I, I re it's funny enough this morning when I was like going through my day, I remember being at a place where I would just love to have been in the spot that I am in right now. Yeah. But then when you're in the spot that you're in right now, life is such that you forget that. Mm -hmm. You forget looking back and then you also forget to look forward and look back. So it's an interesting thing. And to see like a man who's done as much as David's done, like go through that. And I mean, you know, how do you, how do you wake up one morning? We were, a, you know, over a billion dollars the night before to wake up and then be at zero and then not, you know, just be in a pit of despair. Instead, get up, reinvent yourself, do something new and go back to a billion. What, what, most people can't do that once in their life. This man did it two times in his life. And that just tells you that there's absolutely no limits. You know? Welcome to the vlog, Yvette. Who are you, what are you doing? Oh, I'm Jamel's assistant, Yvette. <laughs> we are uh, going to the lawn, because I had it the wrong way. <laughs> Tell me about these, these folks. Who? Caleb and Chad. Oh man, Caleb Caleb was a part of Keegley back when Keegley was in a coffee shop. And then when Keegley was in Josiah's living room. And then from there he became like the marketing dude at New Reach because he protégéed under Nick Fisher, learned a whole bunch, and then now runs his own thing. And he's actually um, the agency that does Homeschool by Tarek. So, Last night we were here reminiscing how this little idea germinated like all these careers, you know, and it started it started at Keegley. Wow. Hi. Good to see you.
family. Yeah. yeah. Nice to meet you. Likewise. It feels like, like we already know each other. Of course, of course, of course. Yeah. He's been good. Yeah, look at you, skinny. You've been working hard, <laughs> well, huh? I'm not gonna let hang out with you and Pablo looking like a whale again. <laughs> uh, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> I, I think we got like two months to go. The energy in there is phenomenal. By the yeah, way. yeah, yeah. Good, good crowd, good audience, good crowd. a lot of good people. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Awesome. Listen. Big green means go, red means back, no other buttons on there. So quick question, quick question. We are going to introduce a very special guest. So before I get there, I gotta tell you how me and our special guest met. So believe it or not, I make so many different connections and I come up with so many different ideas from social media. So one day I'm on my social media and I see, you know, scrolling and I see something called you know, the sponsored post, right, which is an app. And all of a sudden, it's, it's, like, it's like a forest. <laughs> There's like leaves and trees, and I'm like, what is this? It's like, weird, why are they showing me this app? Oh, my gardener? <laughs> and all of a sudden, I see some guy that come out real weird behind, <laughs> like, behind a tree with the sign, it's like, I buy houses, like this. <laughs> okay. I was rolling. I was like, who is this guy? I, gotta, I don't know who this guy is. I looked at his page. I'm like, wait, he has, a, he has a TV show. He's a real estate investor. I'm like, who is this guy? So I follow him and I send him a message. I'm like, hey, I saw your ad. You are awesome. <laughs> and then somehow we started talking. Uh, and then a couple weeks later, we ended up going to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico together. So I'm going to introduce my very good friend and rock star, rock star real estate investor, Jamil. Everything he just said is 100% the truth. And I, I'm just so lucky that we were, we were able to connect and now we've become really good friends. We're actually going to Cabo again this year, uh, bringing my entire family, uh, and he's coming out with his daughter. We, we just have so much fun. So with that being said, I'd like to bring out the Sub 2 Master himself. Maybe 300 times. I've never laughed that hard. 
That was so good, dude. I almost had to go pee before I came up here. <laughs> Anybody learn anything? Thank you guys. Appreciate you. Fountain Hills, man, who would have thought? Incredible. Homeschool by Tarek, thank you guys so much for the invitation. Uh, honored to be here, honored to speak, and uh, hey, if you want to see me in your town, uh, dial 911. <laughs> and like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next vlog. All right, peace. Thanks for watching another one of my YouTube videos. Now it's your turn to go out and take some action. But before you do, like and subscribe to my channel because the law of reciprocity means you owe me, bitch.